Okay, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to share my ultimate Swiss roll recipe with you all. It took me so many trials to get it perfect and I promise you, you will fall in love with this recipe. It literally melts in your mouth. So to get started, you want to preheat your oven to 170 C or 340 F with the fan turned on, also known as convection mode, and line an 18 by 13 inch tray, also known as a half sheet baking pan. I only line the pan long ways and leave the sides exposed and ungreased. And this is just going to prevent the sponge from shrinking too much once it's done because it'll stick to the sides which aren't greased. Now just set your tray aside for now and next we're going to combine our dry ingredients. You don't need to sift it just yet. So I've got 80 grams or two third cups of all purpose flour, 30 grams or a quarter cup of cornstarch, also known as corn flour in some countries, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Once that's all in, then you just wanna use a whisk to mix that all together until it's well combined. Now just set that aside for now. And next in a small bowl, combine 45 grams or three tablespoons of unflavored vegetable oil. I use canola oil and 45 grams or three tablespoons of room temperature milk. Just give that a little stir and then set aside for now as well. Next, we're going to separate the yolks and whites from six large eggs. So I use size seven eggs and I just like to separate them with my hands. I find it much easier to do it this way and because our hands are nice and soft, the yolks are less likely to break. And it's really important not to get any yolks into your whites, otherwise your egg whites won't whip up properly when it comes to making our meringue later on in the recipe. Okay, now that is all done now, and now I just need to wash my slimy hands. Now next in a large bowl, add in one tablespoon of warm water. You don't want it to be boiling, just warm. And 66 grams or a third cup of white granulated sugar. Give that a little stir, and then next add in all of the six egg yolks, along with two teaspoons of vanilla. And then using a hand or stand mixer on a medium speed, whip that together until the mixture becomes thick and pale. It should take roughly about five minutes, but this will vary depending on the size and strength of your mixer. So once it's done, you should be able to kind of pick it up like this and it should form ribbons which sit at the top of the mixture for at least a few seconds before being absorbed back in. Now just set your egg yolk mixture aside for now. And next in another medium to large sized bowl, add in all six egg whites, and then using a clean hand or stand mixer on a medium speed, whip that for 30 seconds until the egg whites become frothy. It's really important to make sure there is no fat or egg yolks on your mixer attachments. Now once your egg whites are frothy, you wanna gradually add in 100 grams or half a cup of white granulated sugar while continuously mixing. So what we're doing here is creating a meringue, and it's really important to add the sugar in gradually so that our meringue can maintain its volume as the sugar slowly dissolves. Now once all the sugar is added in, you just wanna keep mixing until you reach soft peaks, which should roughly take about seven minutes. Now usually for a sponge cake, you wanna whip your egg whites until you reach stiff peaks so you have a nice strong meringue. But because we want our Swiss roll to be very bendable without it breaking, I find that only whipping your egg whites to soft peaks is much better because we don't actually want a super strong meringue. So just make sure that you keep checking your egg whites every now and then just to make sure that you're not overbeating them. And once they're done, they should have peaks like this which fold over. So now that our egg whites are done, we're now going to bring everything together. So first start off by adding in half of your egg whites into your egg yolk mixture and using a spatula, just gently fold that in until it's just combined. You wanna be very gentle here because because we want to try and retain as many of the air bubbles as possible. Once that's done, you want to sift in your dry ingredients from earlier into the batter and again fold until it's just combined. It's really important to make sure that you are sifting in your dry ingredients at this stage, so you know, don't kind of just dump it all in. Next, add in the remaining egg whites into the batter and fold with a spatula until it's just combined and you can't see any more streaks of the egg whites. Now the last step is to add in our milk oil mixer from earlier and again fold until it's just combined. This is going to help thin out our batter a little and the extra folding at the end is also going to make sure we have nice even air bubbles throughout our sponge. Okay, now once our batter is done, you should have a nice thick flowy mixture like this. 
And now all that's left to do is to evenly distribute it onto our lined sheet pan from earlier. Now it's really important to try and even out the batter as much as possible and I like to do this with an offset spatula, it just makes it a lot easier. You can also use a cake scraper too or anything that has a long straight edge. Now once I've evened it out as much as I can, I then hold the tray with the baking paper on the sides and give it a good shake to help even everything out. Then to get rid of any large air bubbles, I'm dropping my tray on my bench top a few times and then tapping the bottom of the tray as well. Now if you do see any large air bubbles come to the top, you can pop them with a toothpick or the back of a spoon, which is what I'm doing here. And now this is ready to go into the oven for 18 minutes or until the top is a golden brown colour and the sponge slowly springs back when you touch it. Now while our Swiss roll is baking away, we're going to go ahead and make a raspberry jam, which is going to be one of the fillings for our Swiss roll. It is so incredibly easy to make and is way better than store-bought. So to a saucepan, add in 110 grams or one cup of frozen raspberries, 6 grams or 3 quarters of a tablespoon of cornstarch, 15 grams or 1 tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and 38 grams or 3 tablespoons of white granulated sugar. Just give that a good stir and then place the saucepan over a low to medium heat and allow the mixture to slowly heat up, stirring every now and then just to make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. Once the raspberries have disintegrated and you have a more liquid mixture, continue to cook it for a few minutes to allow the jam to thicken up. Once it's at this kind of consistency, then it's all done. So now you just want to take it off the heat and pour it into a shallow dish so it can cool quickly. I like to pop mine into the fridge for about 15 minutes just to speed up the process. So my sponge is done now. You want to let it cool in the tray for about 15 minutes. And while it's cooling, we're going to very lightly grease some baking paper. And this is just going to prevent our sponge from sticking to it when we come to rolling it. So because I have a large sponge, I'm going to overlap two sheets of baking paper so that it's big enough. And to each sheet of baking paper, I'm just using my fingers to spread out a very small amount of unflavored vegetable oil. Again, I'm using canola oil. I find that by using my fingers as opposed to a pastry brush, I can spread out the oil much, much thinner. We only want to have a very thin coating on the baking paper. So 15 minutes later, I'm just running a knife around the edge of the sheet pan that's not greased, and then I'm just going to turn my sponge cake out onto the greased baking paper. And to make it easier, you kind of just have to do this very quickly with a lot of confidence. Now once that's done, I'm just removing the baking paper off the top, and I'm just trimming the baking paper that's along the edge that I'm going to roll my Swiss roll so that there isn't too much of a gap. And then we're going to go ahead and gently roll the Swiss roll while it's still warm. And this is just going to help set the shape of the roll so it becomes easier to roll it again without breaking it later on once we filled it. Okay, and now you just wanna let this cool for about 20 minutes, and in the meantime, we're going to whip up some cream. So to a medium-sized bowl, I'm adding in 400 grams or one and three quarter cups of cold whipping cream, two tablespoons of icing sugar, also known as confectioner sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm just using my hand mixer to whip that until I reach stiff peaks. Whipped cream can over whip really easily, so just keep a close eye on it when it starts to thicken up. So my Swiss roll has cooled down now, so I'm just going to unroll it gently and then start filling it. Now before filling it, I'm just going to trim off the ends, but I'm not cutting it off straight. I'm doing it slanted, and this is just going to add a nice shape to our Swiss roll. So first I'm just going to spread out a thin layer of my raspberry jam, which should be cool by now too. And then on top of that, I'm going to spread out an even layer of the whipped cream. Now you want to leave a little bit of a gap at the end of the Swiss roll and only put a very, very thin layer of whipped cream on it because as you roll the sponge, some of the cream will get pushed out. So leaving a little gap just ensures you don't have too much cream coming out of your Swiss roll.
Now to roll the sponge, I'm just gently bringing it up and then I'm pushing the end of it down into the cream to help me create an initial tight roll. And then I'm just rolling it gently until I come to the end. So when rolling it, you don't want to push down too hard, but then you also want it to be tight. So just push gently as you're rolling it. Now, once you come to the end, you want to use the excess baking paper to tighten up the roll. So I like to hold the bottom sheet of baking paper and then use a knife to really push the top sheet of baking paper into the bottom of the roll. Now, once it's rolled up, that is basically it. So now this just needs to go into the fridge for one hour to set before slicing it. So after it's set, you want to gently remove the baking paper and then cut the edges of the roll so that it's nice and straight on each side. And then that's it. It is ready to serve. This Swiss roll is the perfect dessert. The sponge layers are so nice and soft. The combination of cream and raspberries is a match made in heaven. It all goes so well together and it all just literally melts in your mouth when you eat it. Mm. The sponge is so, so incredibly soft. It's like you're literally eating a cloud. Now, I love anything with whipped cream, so this automatically becomes one of my favorite desserts, but I've tried the Swiss roll without cream too, just with raspberry jam, and it still tastes incredible. I think for a good Swiss roll, the key really is in that sponge, and this sponge is honestly perfection. So that is it, guys. If you decide to give the Swiss roll a go and you love it just as much as I do, then please do leave a review on my blog at cakesbymk.com. It really helps my content out, and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.